Welcome to London, Ontario, consistently voted the world's second best London to live in. Today I'm at Locomotive Espresso, voted the best place to get coffee in London by my friend Steve. Uh, today I'm going to see about getting Nicole Cohen to do some coffee tasting, see how she takes to it. To start, I was late, so Nicole had already got her coffee. Hello. Um, <laughs> But I got this Guatemalan from a rare, really rare one, apparently. Very high altitude, large, large coffee beans. Um, came highly recommended as a pour over. Yeah, it's apparently supposed to be fruity and floral, and I don't know, they got a cool presentation. We're gonna try it out. I'm not sure what I'm tasting, if I'm honest, <laughs> in this one. No, it's definitely, definitely fruity. I don't know if I taste the floral so much, but... No, it's really good. It's really different. I'm not sure if I want to say it tastes a little bit bitter or sour, which isn't a bad thing. It's just ways of describing the coffee, but it's... I guess this has that fruitiness that makes it ambiguous, but yeah. I don't know, it's interesting. Alright. So Nicole, have you ever done like a coffee tasting before? No. <laughs> I drink the very plain consumerism kind of coffee. <laughs> How often do you drink your coffee black? Ever? Or like yeah. earlier drink the first it, time? Drink it black? Yeah. Like never. <laughs> you ever had an Americano before? Right? No. No. <laughs> Alright. Like, so then you've never had a short black Americano. So that's what we're having today, a short black Americano. What I like about them is that they, um, they get... Oh, oh here they come. Right here, <laughs> <laughs> this is the Heritage one and the Gesha. Cool. Clear some of the stuff out of the way. Thanks. Alright. Here, so we'll start you with the Heritage. So this, this is a blend. People were talking about earlier. That's an espresso blend here. This is their current single origin that they're offering. So as you can see off the hop, the cremas are different colors. This one's much lighter, that one's a darker. So this one's the Americano. They're both Americanos. They're both Americanos. They're both short black Americanos. This one is made with a blend of beans. This one is made with just one set of beans from one plot. Okay. Um, so yes, this is the, the Gesha. Don't actually know where that's from, but that's what the board up there says. When you drink it for the first time, you're going to kind of want to almost slurp it so it like sprays up into your mouth to help you taste a little bit more. All right. So, uh, um, cheers. Let's try it. It's really hot. Yeah. Yeah. You call it different things, but it was the same thing. It feels, it's very rich. Yeah. Very rich. It feels so fancy. <laughs> it's better than Tim's. <laughs> That's part of the benefit of the short black is that it has, it's much fuller than a regular cup of coffee. It has all of the potency of an espresso, but it's not quite that punch in the face that an espresso would make with the whole room to really taste the flavors available. So let it cool down for a second and uh, water. Yeah. So previous day, where did you say your favorite coffee's been from? Gosh, like I. I've drinking coffee so much for convenience, so I just usually go to like Tins or Starbucks, which <laughs> I can like hear you seething over there. Um, <laughs> but like, I, I remember in Cambridge, I had some of Monogram's coffee, and that that felt like real coffee. The generic coffees, they taste almost chemically. Or with this, this is yeah, pretty good. Let's try again. A nut of some sort. Yeah. I don't know which nut, <laughs> but a nut. These are actually served quite hot, so yeah. Let them sit for a minute as well. Do you drink coffee to get you through the day, or you just drink, or do you just drink it out of like hobby? It depends like, on the day. It does okay. depend on the day. <laughs> That was cooling down, getting like a, like a caramely honey sort of feel to it. Yeah, it's more flavorful when it's yeah. not scorching hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never know what to expect when, they, like, when I go to new places, how hot it's going to be yeah. served. It actually has a very smooth aftertaste, like it doesn't have that coffee punch. Do you, do you want to do a switch and see if you notice the difference? Sure. Yeah. Or yeah. like blends one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wow. This one's like citrusy or something. Wow. Yeah. Citrus. Do you notice like that honey bottom I'm talking about? Like it is. It, 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 yeah, it has like that bright citrusiness to it for sure. Uh, almost on the side of being a little bit sour, which isn't, yeah, isn't a yeah, bad thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you notice like, like that sort of like honey or syrupy? Like, syrupy, yeah. syrupy, yeah, yeah. A little bit of that honey. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. That's a very well honey bag. I like that, that's it. That one's better yeah. than yeah, yeah, the house. Yeah, the house point of what you normally expect from a house, but you want something to be like fairly neutral a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, like, like nutty, so it's probably nutty or like chocolate will be your most common flavors from the cross and house blend. Yeah. Um, so you want to finish off that one or you want to go back? I want that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy that it's natural in here. Like it's not added after. No. So just think you'd come back here? I think I would definitely. I, I was going to have Tim Hortons after this because I'm feeling that like 3 o'clock, you know, like dead brain, but... You're not going to now. I can't. I can't. <laughs> It was a pleasure drinking with you. <laughs> so this was my first segment of Drinking Buddies. This one was with Nicole Conan. You can check out a link to her YouTube and all her stuff down below. And probably up in the card. We are at Locomotive Espresso in London, Ontario, which is exclusively supplied by Toronto's famous Pilot Roasters. So they have a very interesting lease with their landlord, which involves them closing at 3.30 on weekends and 4.30 on weekdays, which makes it a little bit difficult to make it out. It's definitely worth trying to find your way in those hours.